Welcome back to my channel, Aligning With My Soul. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking my videos and just your support, taking the time to comment um, and sharing your stories and your journey and how you've been feeling. It means the world to me and it makes me, it really does comfort me because it makes me feel not so alone. So thank you so much. Um, it makes me really excited as well about how quickly this channel is unfolding and where it's heading. So thank you guys so much. If you are new to this channel, um, this channel is about me sharing. Um, I'm in the process of aligning with my soul. Um, I was triggered by my twin flame and this is how I was awakened and that's why I'm on my spiritual journey. It's about me sharing my ups and downs, my lows, about me doing tapping into the masculine energies, doing oracle card readings. Um, and the more and more confident I get, I will expose how my journey and how my twin plane come into my life and the complications and how it unfolds in the future. So I just wanted to do share it with you guys because I know you can feel so alone on this journey and I wanted to connect with people that are on the same or similar, um, having the same or similar situations and experiences as me. Um, and it's about me helping people as well that are experiencing the same similar things as me. Um, and helping myself at the same time and learning as I'm doing this and on this process of aligning with my soul. So thank you so much for supporting me and um, I'm so happy that I've connected with so many amazing people. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a masculine reading. I've been tapping into the masculine energy. Um, I use oracle cards like I said um, and it's this is about this channel for people that are in some kind of separation or challenge with their twin flame when I say separation what I mean is preparation because you're one soul so you, you're not separated you're just not with a physical person so I hope that helps you in some way it really does comfort me and really this journey isn't about the physical person you're watching for today it's about you this journey is about you because you're one soul so the more you focus on yourself the more you're doing things that you want to do in life and um, moving on, you know, just thinking about yourself and helping yourself and loving yourself and knowing your self-worth and ha um, have feeling your power, that is helping your masculine in any way, the physical person. So I hope that helps you again in some way. So I'm going to start shuffling the cards. Um, if I say masculine, feminine, obviously that's just labels, it's energy, I realise that. It's just easier for me to say and easier for you to understand. So don't be offended by me saying feminine, masculine, him, her, he, she. It's just easier for me. Um, just put it into your circumstances and how it resonates to you. Um, another thing I wanted to say is I do try, I will try and speak up as loud as I can, but my nat my natural voice is very quiet because I'm quite a shy person. So I'll try and be aware and make sure my voice volume is so you can hear it. Because a few people have commented on that, so that is going to be challenging for me because that doesn't come naturally. I usually speak quiet. So <clears throat> let's see how it goes and hopefully you'll be able to hear me, what I've got to say today. <laughs> Um, this channel is very entertaining as well because I'm sharing my lows and my highs with you. So when cards come out that resonates to me about my masculine, I get very excited. So that's quite entertaining as well. And it's about me sharing my truth and being honest and being real with you guys of how it is. And all the knowledge and understanding that I have, I want to be able to share with you so I can help you in some way. I'm going to use Archangel Michael cards today. For this reading and then at the end of the reading after i've done the energy pot and my communication pot what your masculine would like to communicate i'm going to use the reminder cards to bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirit for you the person that's watching just to see what the message is for you today and what god wants you to know this is a timeless reading as well so if you've clicked on this video um usually there is a message for you today um, but again, if none of it resonates and none, you've got no understanding of at all what's going on in your um, journey, just click off of it. Don't try and make it fit. But it really doesn't matter when you've clicked on this video because it's timeless. So there might be a message for you today. 
the energies are quite intense still. It has been affecting me where you, I feel up and down. And the ego has been kicking off a bit recently. But that's just all part of this journey, the ego death. And what we call the dark night of the soul. Um, but the difference is I'm at a stage at the moment where I'm aware and being the watcher of my thoughts and my emotions and my feelings. So that is a big improvement. Right, the first card is Arch ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. So let's see what the press is. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with this situation please help me be filled with faith and faith and peace at all times so at the moment this situation that your masculine you know you know the energy that is in he could be feeling very uncomfortable and he's really wanting help to solve this and he wants it resolved this situation towards you um and he you know i've just said about ego death he could be experiencing the ego death of the dark night of the soul and in this card, I mean, this is Oracle card, but in the back here, it's like a tower. So he could be having an experience in a tower moment where he's really needing support and help. Um, so he could be asking God for help in this situation. And he wants to have faith and he wants to feel peace at all times in every situation of his life, um, especially this situation with you. So um archangel michael and god are helping him at the moment protecting him and um feeling you know wanting him to actually it could be things that are coming up with him that are uncomfortable and stuff that he needs to deal with still um he's having to face and he doesn't know how to deal with the situation so he's needing guidance and help and that is help you know michael and god is helping at the moment so let's see ask Archangel number 16. The situation that's concerning you can be improved with Archangel Michael's help. This card serves as a reminder that it's never too late to get the angels involved and their assistance will improve everything immediately, including giving your inner peace, new ideas and insights. Michael will help you in this situation unexpectedly in ways that are open miracles and the open up miracles um, and in surprising forms so once he can actually do this and go within and um, feel the support from God and Archangel Michael he will experience the miracles and lots of different things that he's wanting to experience and that it could be in lots of unexpected ways and um, it could be very surprising for him but he could just be feeling I'm getting the feeling that He's feeling uncomfortable and just about had enough of this situation and it's really concerning him and he just wants it to be resolved and he's not sure how to go about it. So this is how Gordon and got Archangel Michael are helping him by putting things in place maybe and things that are happening to him and he's experiencing that could be uncomfortable but this it needs to be he needs to be aware of them. Um and you know when you're experiencing a tower moment this, you know, when I say the tower moment, that's like in the tarot cards. When you do experience those mark, um, moments, you are put in a place where you do turn to God and God's angels because you're feeling uncomfortable. So this could be, this is a positive thing because um, he's going to be, when he can feel God's love and guidance and have faith and trust in God he will experience the miracles and the wisdom that he's wanting to deal with this situation towards you um, in lots of different forms in unexpected ways like it says so that is the energy is in and again if you're experiencing that like I've said you know in your in you've exper been experiencing this intense energy where you're just all over the place one minute you're okay when one minute you're not um, it's all part of this journey of the ego death and being aware of your ego and you've probably experienced this you know dark night of the soul they call it your masculine could be experiencing it he could be very in a dark place at the moment where he's having to really turn to god so this is just 
hopefully this resonates to you and then you get what I'm saying and you've got you know an understanding of it but this is the energy that I'm picking up today with a group of masculines. I mean energy changes all the time. So it this message might not be for you but I think this is the energy um, that a lot of us are in at the moment as well as your masculine. Let's see self respect. Dear God and Angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honouring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up. Speak up <laughs> on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of the relationships so that I am surrounded by loving and kind people. So, <sighs> self-respect. He's dealing with, you know, how he's feeling towards himself. He's going within and dealing with stuff, how he feels about himself, how he, his behaviour has been. And, you know, trying to respect himself and have an understanding, a greater understanding. And he wants guidance, he wants the wisdom, and he wants the courage to speak up. And God is helping and encouraging him to do that, to speak up on his own behalf. For him to actually speak and tell and speak his truth to you. Um... And he wants the protection, you know. God is helping him and protecting him with, with everybody involved here. And your relationship with your masculine. So it's about him going in with, within and for, for him to see himself the way God sees him, you know, through the eyes of love. To know how powerful he is, know how good he is. And to let go of the stuff from the past and live more into the moment. Um... So that's how God is assisting an Archangel Michael, your masculine at the moment. So to get the additional message. Self-respect, seven and two, that's nine. Uh, Archangel Michael is supporting your quest for happiness, health and abundance by advising you to respect and love yourself. So yes, he's dealing with how he feels about himself, to look at himself in a better way, to let go of things in the past that have happened. The situation you're inquiring about has some dysfunctional aspects which can adversely affect your self-esteem. This card is a sign that it's time to honour yourself even if others aren't treating you in a worthy manner. You deserve respect from yourself and others, for you are a beloved child of God. So the, he's having to go within and to feel better about himself and honour himself and know how amazing he is and to have a better self-esteem and to get rid of, like, like I said, he's experiencing ego death. And, you know, ego death is not to listen to the thoughts, the negative thoughts, ne ne negative behaviours. He's freeing himself from them so he can have some more self-respect and, you know, by having self-respect he is going to, Love him. He's going to experience the love he has for himself, and he should do this. You're masking in. So, the situation that he's wanting to be resolved, he's got to be dealt with within. About how he feels about himself. This masculine isn't feeling great about himself. He needs to have more respect for himself and all the things that he's wanting. This happiness that he wants with you to experience good health, abundance, and a bright future. The only way this can happen is if he deals with how he feels about himself and gives himself more respect and love. And know how worthy he is of love. So he can accept the love you have for him, that you've got there waiting for him. To know that he's good enough to experience that love and that it's real. Um, so he needs to have more self-respect and this is what he's dealing with, which is uncomfortable, which we see here. And this is how God is helping him in this situation. So he is being put in a situation <clears throat> and circumstances and signs and things are coming up and him just feeling pretty trash, I expect, at the moment. For him to actually go within and have a bit of self-respect for himself, to deal with all these negative patterns, and to deal with what the ego has made him believe about himself. 
So this is very deep, this reading today. Very, very deep. There's a lot of stuff going on with your masculine at the moment. This energy. This is how the image is affecting him. So I hope that does resonate with you. Um, I've explained that in a way that you understand. So very interesting and very powerful. And again, as I said at the beginning of this reading, this isn't, you're watching this video about your masculine because you want to know what's going on with him, but the more you focus on yourself and not the physical person and not your masculine, you'll be helping your masculine anyway because this journey is about you because you're one soul. You're the positive polarity, so when you are going within and having self-respect for yourself and loving yourself and knowing yourself, well, that energy will be sent to your masculine. And... Um, then your masculine will be brought back to, you know, you're attracting like a magnet to you. So this could be a resonate of how you're feeling as well and what you're going through as well. So you could be mirroring each other. Or you've experienced this and this is what you've been doing and this is now what your masculine is doing. With. So what else wants to come out today? Innocence. I always love this card, the picture in it. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see all of your all of the qualities of pure love, light and reflected that's within me and all others. Help me embrace my God given innocence so that I can maybe at peace. So he wants to be at peace with himself. Um and God is helping him realise the qualities he has and to look at things through the eyes of love and to feel this pure love. He knows as well this love that he feels for you is pure love, but he's running. he's been running away from it. And now he's having to really deal with it. He's in a situation where he's having to really deal with it. And the more love and the way he sees things through the eyes of love, the more experience of light and the more wisdom um, within him will shine and it will shine on others around him as well um, so let's read the additional message as well for you and that's when he will feel peace but it's all about him how he feels about himself he's not feeling great about himself he needs to know how wonderful he is and, you know, you could be thinking, oh, my goodness, I can't believe you're saying that because he's been so awful and his behaviour's been so bad. But there's a reason for this behaviour. It's about how he feels about himself. There's a deeper understanding, and that's where your spiritual journey, you know, you're on this spiritual journey. It's about the understanding. It's about having greater understanding. It's about compassion. It's about forgiveness. And knowing the reasons behind maybe the behaviour that your masculine's um, been like in the past it's been for a reason because he's not feeling he hasn't had self-respect he hasn't felt love towards himself he hasn't felt love like he's felt towards you before and he's frightened it frightens him so um, this is all the stuff that he's dealing with at the moment that is how god is assisting him innocence let's see what the message is i see if i can find it Forty-eight. Archangel Michael is holding you in a comforting embrace, assuring you of your innocence. Ask him to help you forgive yourself and let go of guilt. There you go. I've just said all that before I've read this. He feels bad about his behaviour. He, he doesn't like himself. He hasn't shown any love towards himself or any self-respect. Ask him to help you forgive yourself and let go of guilt, which is a very heavy emotion that keeps you from experiencing inner peace. So he's not going to experience inner peace until he has let go of this guilt and blame towards himself. And he needs to forgive himself, and this is what he's experiencing, and it's uncomfortable. Archangel Michael, thank you. Archangel Michael, thank you for helping me forgive myself and 
for this situation that I'm in and for anything else I blame myself for. Please help me release all self-blame from my mind, body and emotions. Feel the sensation of deep release as Archangel Michael helps you embrace your true innocence. Your past behaviour could never undo God's perfect handiwork in creating you in a powerful, loving and much needed being, being of light and love. So yeah, this is really sad. This makes me sad. Because your muscle is so hard himself and, you know, he, from your point of view, he could still have the mask on and he's still hiding away and coming across as if everything's okay and not showing how he actually feels. But underneath this, he's dealing with lots of upset and how he feels about himself and he blames himself for so many things about maybe his behaviour towards you, the person that's watching, things that have happened in the past, before you maybe and even during the time of meeting you um, and not giving himself any self-respect, not loving himself and by meeting you, experiencing the love that he felt when he felt <clears throat> in that moment he, had, he doesn't, he's not experienced that before and it did make him feel uncomfortable and the only way that he could deal with this is by being, putting the mask on, hiding how he truly feels towards you, or behaving in certain ways that's just awful, to, that comes across awful, that's not really acceptable. Um, but that's the only way that he could deal with it, and how he's been dealing with it, because it frightens him, this love that he feels for you. And this experience he feels for you. Um, so yeah, that makes me feel sad. But at the same time, this is all good because all of this different stuff, this is what he's been forced to deal with, to have self-respect, to take a look at himself in, inwardly, to know how powerful and how amazing and how this, you know, there's so much love that wants to come out of your masculine. That he does want to show you but it's been hidden for all this time but the more he has self-respect and know his worth that's when he will be able to shine his light and come towards you and have the courage to share his love with you um but there's been a lot of he's experiencing a lot of self-blame and he's having to forget god is helping him forgive himself um and God is helping him realise that he, you know, what everything that he's experienced before in the past and stuff, it doesn't matter. And as I've said to you guys before, in the, lots of readings that come up about forgiveness and stuff, whatever happened with your masculine in the past is the past, and it was meant to happen the way it was. It was divine. It was in the divine plan. You had to experience those triggers and those painful things that you experienced. Your masculine is experiencing what he's experiencing now for a reason. And it's about being awake and experiencing an ego death. So you can be conscious and connected to God and feel God's love. Instead of believing what the ego has been telling you all this time for you to actually be who who you're supposed to be and not being held back by what the ego is saying a lot is going on with your masculine the energy is in at the moment and he is being protected and he's been helped and it, it looks like you know it, it, it could be a sad and, and uh, about this but it's a positive thing because it's stuff that has to be dealt with and it's stuff that he's been pushed to deal with so he can come towards you but the main thing here is that he needs to have more self-respect and not blame himself and to love himself and I think that's the person that's watching that's what you've experienced you know that that's what you've experienced because it's about you knowing your self-worth and loving yourself because you're one soul and this is you know the stage that your masculine's at where he's dealing with that 
so this is very positive. It's uncomfortable knowing that you're masculine, I know it's feeling uncomfortable and having to deal with all this stuff, but it is all positive. And he has been protected and guided and um, supported by God and God's angels, so. He will get through this, so. Um, that is really positive, really, this experience. Um, and I hope that gives you some kind of understanding, you know, what's going on with your masculine at the moment. And I hope it does resonate with you. So you could not, you know, you could be in a situation where you haven't heard um, from your masculine and there's very little communication, but this is what's going on in the background. And I always say this. A lot is always going on behind the scenes that we can't see. We always think that we know and what's going on and um, we're just going on this path that is unknown to us because we're not sure because it's, things haven't been revealed to us or maybe your masculine's never told you how he feels or his behaviour's just been completely different to what I'm actually saying. It's just a, he, he, it's just a mask that he's wearing. He's hiding it deep inside. He's feeling self-blame and self-hate this is what he's having to let go of at the moment so the energy that he's in <clears throat> is he is feeling the love towards you he knows about this love this love that you cannot get away from this love as we know and the more and more um readings i'm doing it's showing that the, the um masculine has got his heart shot grope and he's experiencing this intense powerful love for you and he's missing you um, and love is the answer to everything and the more love he can have for himself this will help your situation but he's feeling the love else is the energy that's wanting to come out for you today for you to know what the energy you're masking the passion there you go he has got so much passion and love for you and he wants to share it and this is why god is helping the moment the moment have this self-respect for himself and to deal with all these different things that he needs to be that so deep with inside him he's got so much passion and love he wants to be able to show you but he needs to deal with this first let's see what he'd like to communicate to you if he had the chance in the 3D and what he would actually say to you I mean sorry what he'd say to you in the 3D if he had the chance and what he's actually saying to you in the 5D this is interesting this is the bit I love the communication and I expect it's your favourite bit as well <clears throat> oh, there you go, I told you. I'm always reminded of you, so yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter where he's going, what he's doing, whatever's happening, God is putting things in place where he's always reminded of you. So he can deal with all this stuff because he's not going to run anymore. He's going to face this, he's going to have the courage, so he can show you his love and have, show you the passion he has for you. What else is going to come out please? What else is going to come out? Oh. I really miss you, my heart hurts. So he does really miss you. He thinks about you all the time because he's been reminded of you and this is what he would say to you. I really miss you and my heart hurts. And he just wants this sorted out, this situation, as much as you do, the person that's watching, he does want this sorted out. Um, but there's a process on this journey and we have to enjoy this journey and the process and the build up to it of you going back together. You can't just focus on the end result, it's about enjoying the process and the more you can do that and the more you'll experience peace within yourself. And again, this journey isn't about your masculine, 
the physical person, it's about you, the person that's watching, it's about you focusing on yourself and loving yourself and feeling whole and knowing your worth and using your power and knowing your power. <clears throat> Releasing old patterns and then being conscious, being aware, living in the moment, not thinking too much ahead, not too in the past, just living in the moment, enjoying the moment and trusting in God, trusting that there's nothing to worry about in this situation because it's all sorted, it's just whether you're going to believe in it or not and not being, you being in control and trying to force it to happen before it's meant to. And when I'm saying this to you guys, I'm not saying it because I know this and I've achieved this already. I'm still learning this process myself. And God's channeling through me to give the message to you, but it's for me this message as well, because I need to not feel secure in this situation of this journey, of this relationship with my masculine, instead of feeling, listening to the ego, that's doubting it and getting frustrating with not knowing I need to hear this today as well, so this is why I wanted to do this video, is because I want to help you guys that are watching and helping myself, and sharing my knowledge and my understanding of what I've learned on this uh, journey so far. So now it's time for me to the, give you the reminder card to bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirit and what God wants you to know today. So this is really important, because this is about you. This whole journey is about you. The more you realise that, and the more you realise that you're not separated from this physical person, and that your masculine, oh my goodness, you see that fly, the more you realise that it's not about your masculine, it's about you, the more you can help your masculine come towards you, the physical person. Angels, ascended, masters and deities, deities, I never can say that right, <laughs> call upon archangel ascended masters to assist you now. Now it is a time when extra assistance is required to help you nurture and comfort your beautiful divine inner spirit. And the action you can take is call upon the help of your archangels, ascended masters, to help assist you right now. You can do this either by writing a letter to them and writing out all of your worries. Great miracles will start to take place in your life once you ask for help and allow it. Feel all the love that they, they have for you you are always supported by the universe and the affirmation you can say to yourself is I call upon my beloved archangels and ascended masters of the highest divine light to help me lift my highest natural divine energy so it's really important that you ask your God's angels for assistance at the moment and to write things down to maybe write a letter about all the worries that you have and all the concerns to help you um, free yourself from it and hand this over to God and God's angels to help support you and to surrender to it. You are always supported by the universe and um, whatever it is that you're having to, that is worrying you, it's better to write it down because it frees you from it. Just surrender and know that God is supporting you always. It's just about trust and having faith. And you really need this at the moment because as i said it this reading i'm doing it for the masculine energy but it's about you as well the person that's watching and you've experienced what your masculine is experiencing as well about having self-respect for yourself having unconditional love for yourself and god has put your masculine in place for you in this lifetime for you so you can experience unconditional love for yourself so you can be who you really are so you can experience God's love this is about God's love and this is a gift from God your masculine it's about waking you up and trusting and having faith in God um, so this is a beautiful reading I hope I've explained it and you have some kind of understanding it resonates to you. Mm. It definitely resonates to me um, and it's definitely helped me by doing this reading today. So I hope it really I hope it really has helped you. So 
if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it and it resonated to you um, I'll do a video in a couple of days um, if you want to join me on Instagram that is in the description box down below and I have my PayPal in the description box down below now so if you'd like to donate and support my channel it would be much appreciated um, so thank you so much for watching guys and I'm sending my love light and support to you and um, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon Bye.